It's Chippy here from ultrabooknews.com. We've got the Dell uh, Latitude E744 here, which is an ultrabook and also not an ultrabook. It's available with just a hard drive, uh, non touchscreen. It's also available with SSD and touchscreen. So I had the hard drive, uh, non touchscreen version uh, previously. I wasn't too. Um, impressed and the reason I'm not too impressed is because we're testing ultrabooks here and this isn't an ultrabook and it really noticeably underperforms compared to SSD based uh, laptops um, and I miss the touch as well it does have a, a 1366 by 768 uh, screen as well which is really in my book for this device which is a 14 inch device not good enough so Dell were kind enough to send over um, the Ultrabook version, so we could do a real Ultrabook to Ultrabook comparison. And that's what I've got here, so I'll, uh, I'll quickly unbox this. But the first thing to mention is that um, is the pricing will be vastly different here. We've got an 8 gig version here with a, a 128 gig SSD, Windows 8, and um, obviously the touch screen. Now, the non uh, the non touch screen version, that uh, cheap version there, 889 euros um, and actually when you consider what's in it and I'll take you around the device in a bit and show you all the ports and the features it's actually not a bad deal um, this touchscreen ultrabook version which has 8 gig of RAM I'm just checking it out here the SSD uh, HD 4400 Core i5 this has the same Core i5 in it as well this is 1239 so there's a 400 euro or 50% price premium on this but uh, what we'll do is we'll test it over the next week or two and give you a full uh, review of it. So um, let me just take you, we'll zoom in and let me take you around the device so I can show you just initially the ports and, and the layout of the, of the PC, of the Ultrabook. So first things to note, this is a 2.2, ah no, 1.63 kilograms. Sorry, got the weight wrong. 1.63 kilogram ultra boost. It's not super light, but for a 14 inch, actually uh, not bad at all. In fact, the SSD will probably be a few few grams uh, lighter than that. It's a business focus ultra book available in V Pro version if you want it. Uh, slightly ruggedized, I believe. And um, I think the big feature here is, is actually the ports. So I'm gonna go straight to those and you can see immediately how the port selection uh, varies from a lot of other ultrabooks so full ports all over and a big array of ports now this is the follow-on device to the 6430U which had an MSATA port on the back and I when I reviewed that I said I really would prefer to have a display port rather than the MSATA now I'm not saying that they'll listen to me but look what they've got they've got a display port uh, here instead of the MSATA port which I believe was over here so full gigabit Ethernet um, high speed uh, so USB 3 display port that's actually a mini display port HDMI as well and another USB port there's the power there but there's more on this side you've got another USB Kensington lock you've got your Wi-Fi or your radio on off switch here which is uh, which is actually useful uh, in some scenarios it's all it's really an aircraft mode a switch um, but it can actually hardware disable um, radios to really, really save the, the power if you need to. And there's a headset port there. Um, on the other side, it doesn't look like there's much at all there, just the, the fan. But if we just go under there, you'll see that. I've just pulled out the SD card from the SD card slot, which is just underneath there. Pushing it back in, it seems to go in all the way. Uh, on the front, there are a couple of speaker grills just there and then we can flip over to the back and see immediately that this has a docking port so there's a docking station available for this and you get a removable battery 34 watt hours on this one but I believe there's a high cap version and of course being able to uh, swap batteries out during the day is actually pretty uh, pretty useful um, there's actually also a sim card tray in there as well for the 3g version so that's looking around the uh, the device there let's just open it up for you and this is the non-touch version so i'm just going to swap that over in fact you'll see the difference see non-touch version has a matte display there's also um oh, you can't really see it in the video but ah oh, there we go you can actually see that there's a ledge between the screen and the bevel there the frame let's switch over to this <laughs> 
<laughs> they've sent, sorry, they've sent a non-touch version over. This is interesting. So, um, I'm assuming it's non-touch because it would be edge-to-edge -edge glass if it was touch. But it does say Ultrabook on the bottom there. So they've kind of got an Ultrabook stick on an Ultrabook device. Um, although it's got the array mics and it's probably got a full HD screen. Now um, I do need to. Uh, just let this boot up to see if it's actually got a, a touch screen on it. I very much doubt it has because Windows 8 requires swiping in from, from the edges. So uh, that that's probably not gonna, gonna work. No, it's a non-touch Ultrabook. So it's interesting. It's an Ultrabook of the 2012-2013 generation, in, if, you, if you really want to put it into a, a category. But we do have a full HD screen there, and we have the SSD, we have eight gigabytes of RAM. So in my book, this is actually, um, in terms of business focus, laptops uh, definitely uh, in the Ultrabook class. Fingerprint reader on the bottom there. There's a really nice backlit keyboard, and you'll notice that we've got the pointer, we've got the trackpad, and physical mouse buttons still there. So compared to the new Lenovo's, uh, you'll have seen the X240 and the 400, 400S. They have the um, buttonless mouse pads now. I also see an NFA, NFC uh, sign there. So there's NFC inside this as well. Not sure if this is the VPro version as well. But that keyboard is nice. I've already tested that keyboard on the, on the other version. So um, that's really nice to see. Let's just see if we can uh, have a look at the resolution. And... Uh, it looks like full HD to me, yes, 1920 by 1080, okay, not quite full HD, 1920 by 1080 is the resolution there. Took me a few seconds to actually notice that this is a Windows 7 build on here, so uh, Windows 7 Pro, I think it is, let's have a look, oh, come on, go, 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 go. Trying to do this back to front. Windows 7 Pro on there. We've got the Core i5 4300U, so it has one inside. 1.6 to 2.5 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM. I also noticed that there is the smart card reader in this version. If you just look there, you've got the smart card reader there. And I'm not sure if that's included in the 1239 uh, price that I'm seeing here. I'm just, just double, double, double checking for you. Um, while I'm doing that, I just want to highlight the, the sort of build. Compared to the 6430, it looks a little bit more consumer focused than business focused, where the 6430 had definite sort of um, edgy lines to it and it smacked off business ultra. I actually found it quite good looking, to be honest. It was a very tidy device. Now, they've actually done some beveling of the edges on this one, as you can see, giving it a little more of a, a consumer friendly um, look to it. Uh, this fake uh, metal on the top is is oh, hold on is that metal or is that not metal oh, really should have checked that before I did the video feels like plastic to me on the bottom it's definitely plastic but on the inside I want to highlight that this is a rubberized plastic so uh, definitely if you're running around the office with it in one hand like that it's not going to slip out at all so just quickly double checking on the on the card reader mm -hmm. Doo -doo 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 -doo. the one two three nine does come with vpro so and I don't, but i don't think this one is the vpro thing is with the dells you've got so many options and um, you've got the 3g cards you've got uh, different size uh, ssds up to 512 i believe um you've got um an ac uh, wi-fi card in some of them um, and in terms of 3G, you've also got 4G and I believe there are YGIG options as there were on the 6430 as well. So you can have um, a totally transparent uh, wireless docking station there. Well, by transparent, I mean you just won't know it's there. It's a wireless short range docking station which will take um, takes a display, USB and um, uh, what's the thing? It's PCI uh, Express. It takes over that as well. Anyway, that's enough for this uh, quick overview. This is it's the Dell Latitude E7440 in SSD version. I will run some sort of performance tests between the two, the, the um, 
the hard drive version with the uh, um, yeah, the hard drive version and the SSD version to see what sort of uh, differences we can get. But I can tell you straight away that the hard drive version is noticeably slower. It's a non-cached hard drive, noticeably slower than um, any SSD-based uh, Ultrabooks I've, I've tried in the past. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video. We've got coming up uh, the Samsung Ative Book 9 um, Plus which is the uh, one, that if you're thinking of, you know, something like um, the Lenovo uh, um, ThinkPad Yoga, it might be one to consider there. That's coming in the next couple of days as well, so you'll see some videos up of that. And I'll also have a video overview review of this too. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. My name's Chippy. Ultrabooknews.com is the website. See you again on the next video.